So tonight we're having a screening of uh, Daniel Blake, directed by Ken Loach, which is about the cruel sanctions people face in the uh, welfare social security system. Uh, we've been supporting the Right to Work, Right to Welfare campaign. We've been campaigning on this issue for four years outside the Doles in Belfast. So it really fits neatly into their current campaign, which is asking for a simple due process and impact assessment when social security decision makers are thinking about stopping people's last pennies. If I went to court, or if I'd done something wrong, I wouldn't be put in jail without going to court. He has been put against me and me to be able to defend myself. Unfortunately, that's not the way it works in the Social Security benefits. What happens is, you turn up, say no, and the next thing you're told, you're sanctioned. What for? A letter will be in the post. The next thing you get a letter that says you were sanctioned. Sometimes you're told how you can have paid. The majority of times, you're not. You're also, I mean, you get it for missing appointments, taking your child to hospital, going to a funeral. I mean, things that you have to do, but it's not good enough for the dough. Even though you do inform them, I can't make it today, I'm going to have to take my child to hospital. It's seriously ill. That doesn't work. You get sanctioned. And unfortunately, there's people out there who's getting sanctioned with regards to they've lost all their benefits, they've lost their housing benefits. They don't have any money for any food. It doesn't matter if you're kids or not. And when they send you a letter, it, the letter states that it, they're, the person who made this decision does not think it would have an adverse impact on your quality of life, which I find very strange. Thousands upon thousands of people in the same boat. Everywhere we went, the people were, great, were, were so grateful that we were trying to do something about it. We're trying to get more and more people to join us. But uh, some people just got to go in front of the cameras or stand outside the door in case they get sanctioned because that's how bad it is at the present. I was shocked at a lot of the stories that was coming out of them because it was just, it was unreal, some of it. I mean, there was people were actually sanctioned. They didn't know they'd been sanctioned. They didn't get no letters. They didn't get no information and they would go to the bank, to, to the cash machine, and there's no money in it, you know, and that there shocked me, and there was time, there was another one, there was a girl, and she actually, she uh, she was late, and she couldn't, bring me, and she had two young kids and things like that, but she actually couldn't pay her TV licence, and she ended up going to jail for two weeks, and her two kids had to go, um, you know, for people to mind them and things like that. So it ended up, when she came out of the jail, she ended up, she was behind with her rent and things like that and she couldn't catch up with them. You know, people don't know the full extent of the problem of the, what people are facing. You know, and it, it's just, something really does definitely need to be done, you know, because it's been, you know, it's been on for four years, we've been fighting and, you know, doing all different things and nothing seemed to be working. People here are very jaded with the welfare reform debate in that it went where it went and decisions were made to implement it. What the group are pushing for is a very simple administrative change here that would make a massive difference. There are tens of thousands of decisions on an annual basis to stop people's last pennies and them decisions are made without consideration of their children or the impact, without, without simple due process, a defence, access to representation. Simple things that we enjoy in the workplace or under the law are not enjoyed by people on social security benefits. And that's all that the people's proposal is asking for. It's a simple thing. It can be introduced locally. It doesn't need the permission of Westminster or the Tories to do. It can be implemented locally by our, by our local administration. And hopefully, after this election, that's exactly what they do. PPR had been working on a campaign and they wanted to sort of set up creative surgeries, essentially, so that children would come in and do an art activity and we would facilitate that. And then the parent or the guardian would then find out about their rights, you know, so they would go over outside the doll office and invite people to come in. And it was really good for us because it meant that people well felt welcomed into the gallery space. And so maybe it opened up uh, a sort of place that's a public place that people maybe didn't normally feel comfortable going to. Ken Loach is, you know, a famous maverick filmmaker. And, you know, we're just delighted to be screening it here tonight. I've had a major heart attack. I've been told by my doctor that I'm not supposed to go back to work yet. I'm 
afraid you must continue to look for work or your benefit payments will be frozen. I've seen it before. Good people on the street. You could lose everything. Well, I'm not going to give up. When you lose your self-respect, you're done for. Yeah. Well, fortunately, I've seen this film before at a human rights convention over at Queen's. The film tells the truth. The film is to the mark. The acting on it, the writing, it's all brilliant. And I would advise everyone to watch this film. And I think a lot of people were, will be shocked because after the last film, there was a question and answers, which I was involved in. And the people just could not believe the way people were treated on the dole. See, I've always said all along, it needs to be the story. The stories have to be told. The people have to come out of the woodwork, you know, and say, look, this is what's happening to me, because there's a lot of fear and a lot of anxiety that's keeping people from saying things. And it has to really be shown. It all has to just come out and let out on the table. This is what's happening to people. I mean, I think it's a brilliant platform. It's a brilliant way to get a message out to um, particularly those who have their doubts about a lot of the research that we've been doing into sanctions and um, the attacks on people on social security. So it's a brilliant sounding board to get a message out. More than that, it gives us the opportunity to piggyback on the back of it, which is brilliant. And the icing on the cake today that Ken Loach himself has sent us a, a, a brilliant message of support, which has G'd us on and G'd the group on massively. We've been asked if we want government ministers to watch this film. The answer is no. They know exactly what they're doing. They want to show that poverty is the fault of the poor, that unemployment is the fault of the unemployed. So that will resonate massively with our group, um, who have been making decision makers both in the Department for Communities and the Social Security Agency aware of the grotesque attacks that sanctions are on people, driving them into food banks, driving them into poverty, driving them into homelessness for quite some time. And it's great to hear from Ken Loach himself as well that our views are, are reflected in what he's writing to us today. And we can use that as a platform to move forward and hopefully have an impact on the soon to be redundant uh, MLAs who are going to be unemployed themselves very soon as they travel back into employment again and maybe get into a position of power to do something useful with it. <laughs>